Hey everybody, this is Mad Mario Man, and welcome to my next Let's Play on the Wii this time. Super Mario Galaxy! Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and start up Super Mario Galaxy 2. And let me just tighten on the wrist strap here. Alright. Okay, so, as you can see here, I have two practice files, and look on this one. I got 242 stars. That's right, Master of Galaxies. This is just my practice spot. But we're gonna go and start on this here. Uh, oh, we gotta pick a character. Uh, Mario. Sure, we didn't use Mario yet. Alright. The great space journey begins. Here with Mario. Now, let me tell you a story that also begins with Stardust. A shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Okay, so now... And here comes our hero, coming out of the warp pipe. Alright, so you actually control this. And now, I'm gonna go with basic controls real quick. A is to jump. If you're running, you, well, it doesn't matter if you run or not, you can, uh, double jump, but if you're running, you can do a triple jump. That goes actually quite high. Shake your control to, well, actually, you can't spin yet. Oh, well. But, uh, if you crouch down with, what is that, Z, and then press A, you gotta spin. Um, a long jump is if you press Z and then A right after that. And my pointer here, you can use it to collect star bits. Now, what the star bits do, uh, star bits help you unlock levels and stuff like that, so still bash your head on blocks, of course. Oh, I should have explained that jump. If you're running at full speed this way and then like <clears throat> and then like um I don't know what to say, like tilt the control not tilt, but uh like just go the opposite direction. You can do a uh that kind of jump. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, what's this here? Uh, saying some weird stuff. The strange little fellow seems confused. Was he lost? I don't know. He seems to take a shine to Mario. Mario's cap filled with wonders as he felt the new power surge going through him. Okay, now, you get the ability to spin. Which, if you find any crystals like this, you can spin into them, and it will give you star bits and other stuff. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Can you break this? Okay. Yeah. Oops. This will also help you in your jump. You can get a little bit more height on your jump. And, you know, you can wall jump in this game. Just press A. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, like that. Just press A when you're leaning on a platform. It's not hard at all. It's actually easier in this game to wall jump because if you press A, you don't have to like move your controller anywhere. You just press A and go to the other wall, and that's what I like. Whoa. What the? It's a scary sound. I don't know. Oh boy. It's Bowser! Yeah, see, I, did, I just said that before you did. Lumas! It's a monster! It is a monster. Whoa. Okay, what do we got now? You're too late, Mario. The power of the stars is already mine. And look what else I got. I'm huge! Yeah, even scary up close, huh? Yeah. Maybe I'll have Princess bake me something for once. I could sure use a galaxy sized slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this peony planet. I deserve an empire that's, mo that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. Okay, well, the mushrooms seem to be the uh, way that we've beat you before, but this time. Oh. 
Oh, we can even spin into enemies and stuff like that. Well, not enemies, but toads. Make them spin. What's going on, Lumas? Mario, where did that monster come from? Hey, he took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her. Okay, can you do something about it? Oh, Master Luma. Oh, that's a master? Young Master Luma. Did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see, so you're getting to stay with Mario's cat? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have to have other things to worry about, like saving your princess. But how? I don't know. I know, with the, master, with the power of Master, with, ma you have the, with young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. Oh, goody, you can transform. Thanks for saving our friends. And now let's get after them. Okay, so these Lumas have the power to transform into these things right here, which are called um, launch stars. They're also sling stars too. But... Woohoo! And. Oh! We're already heading into the first galaxy, which is Space Station. Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. Okay, so. Landing. Our power stars, they're gone! Some gigantic monster stole them! If you're going to get after that monster, you might see our power stars out there too. Please bring us the power stars. Okay then. Um, now, you have to, um, now would be the best time to, like, click power. Like, I'll show you how you can defeat enemies here is by spinning into them. If you get, you can get star bits by spinning into them, but if you jump on them, come here, Goomba, you get a coin. Okay? That's pretty easy. Ooh, star bits. Uh, yeah, definitely, you wouldn't want to collect star bits and coins. They just, you know, star bits help you out by getting through levels and stuff like that. Coins help you out. Well, coins can refill your health. In this game, you get three units of health. Of course, uh, you can actually trick this out here by doing that. Smash open these crystals, and... I'm gonna go back to the other side. Here are the other Goombas. These are the Goombas that take two hits to kill. Well, if you spin into them, you have to knock them over. You don't have to punch them or anything. There's really no way to punch them. Here's a tip. You can spin to defeat enemies. No, I already know how to do that. Good luck out there. By doing that. Collect Starbits with your pointer. You can also touch Starbits too to collect them, which I just use the pointer because I think it's easier. See? There you go. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the other side of this planet, cause I'll show you one more thing. Go down this red pipe, or orange, whatever that is. Here's a one-up mushroom. You got an extra life? Okay, you start out with four lives every time you reset the game. There's... Yeah, okay. Do this again. And... You gotta get up this hill here. Break this crystal and <clears throat> over here. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry. What is it? Yeah, the Lumas told me about you. Thank you for helping us. I'm going to transform into a launch star. Alrighty, so let's fly away. Shake the control stick to get into launch stars. And when the star bits flying through the sky, go and collect them. Okay, so we're on the next platform. These guys are called Octumbas here. And. They can actually attack you by woo, shooting rocks at you. They're pretty easy to avoid, but I do get hit. I even get hit by them a lot. I mean, it takes a while for them to actually attack you. Anyway, if you don't want to skip, if you want to skip the platform, you can just do this. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing that you can actually do stuff like that in this game, but there are a lot of ways. I can get up platforms without having to do the year. See, look, you got a one up right here. Careful, there's no way down. If you fall in, pretty much like fall into a black hole or whatever. Right, before I get that, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this guy. Ooh, shooting stars. Shooting stars come down and they, you know, give you a few star bits. Woohoo, an extra little secret there. You get three one ups. Anytime you see eight rocks like this, eight shells, whatever, and you're gonna be spin it, you get star bits. Okay, I'm gonna show you what this thing is. This is a little extra where you can earn more lives. If you pick up this, you're a rainbow sh rainbow or yeah, rainbow Mario, you're invincible. Just go and run super fast, and while you're running super fast, you can destroy anything in your path. Also jump and you do like a uh, 
sort of like a circle jump thing. There's another one up there. It is. You can collect coins and star bits. This is a uh, yeah. These bonus levels are a way to get like one ups, mushrooms, and stuff like that. I can still pick up the star bits from here because look, you can see the platform. But fortunately, there are no star bits because I got them off. And I don't want to wait for the platform. It takes too long. Uh, I don't think there's any way to skip this one because it's pretty tall. You know, Mario can't spin jump forever. You can there. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's kind of a way. You can, like, cheat death in this game a lot of times by, like, spinning your way up and then wall jumping and stuff like that. It's kind of weird right now, but you'll get the hang of it later if you keep playing this. Alright, so, I'm gonna take this sling star. And we're not gonna take it yet, cuz, and this sling star, woo, get a bunch of coins! I guess it's just a little secret. And now what we want to do is spin the controller, and we will go into this launch star here. Alright, now we're headed on this planet. This is mud right here. If you walk in it, you will go slower. Trust me. Don't try it. I know. These things here, I don't know what the... Try to avoid the mud, because you'll go slower. Uh, see black holes right there? You do not want to get inhaled by them. Why? Because, you know, they take away an extra life, and that sucks. See, I already have 130 star bits, so it's a lot so far. But hey, first, in these first couple levels, you can actually click star bits. Okay, you want to actually ride on this thing? I'll tell you why in a minute, because, well, you can see a little bit of it right here, but, uh, you're going to keep riding on this thing. Don't worry, the black hole won't, like, suck you in. And you get this thing, it's a comet metal. In order to have pranks or comets appear, you have to collect comet metal. Alright, there, there's one, alright, I'll tell you about Comet Metals. They make Prankster Comets appear, and how you get Comet Metals is, in the first mission of every galaxy, there will be a Comet Metal. Okay, that's how it works. This here is a life stream, and how, I'll tell you how this works. It pretty much, yep, doubles it, and if your health goes back below four, which would be, go back to three, your life stream gets disappeared. But, you know, if you do get hit, um, you can always collect coins, you know, by stomping on enemies. There's plenty of enemies around here. I'm just doing a quick click for star bits, because I don't think there's plenty of coins right here anyway, and plenty of star bits. You have plenty of everything in this first level. Okay, now it's time for the boss. And... Oh no, oh no! It's not even partially out of its egg yet. Or, yeah, see? Only its head and feet. So this thing is a joke of a boss. All you gotta do is go behind it, Spin into it. It's easy. Just keep doing it. It's so easy. He's an easy boss. And there's also, okay, on this part, you gotta go to the other side of the planet. When he gets close to you, he will turn around, so you don't gotta worry about him, like, charging into you. And. Now he's gonna get angry. Now he's gonna come right for you. When he does that, spin into him. It's easy. Trust me, there's no reason you should get hit in this boss. Okay, it only takes two hits now, and he will be over here. Smash! And there you go. Uh, also, as you can see, there are a bunch of... Uh, before I collect the star, you can see there's a bunch of stuff here. Shoot these with star bits by pressing B. I forgot to say that. You can, come on, you can spin into these, get star bits, you know, stuff like that. Spin into this, get started. And there's your first star. Who? now we're in a, uh... Okay, where did that transport us to? Oh, well. So we get a first star. And we got a comet medal. We got some star bits. How many did I exactly get? 233 star bits? I got 43 coins, and, ooh, look at this place. So you're this Mario guy that these little lomas won't stop blabbing about, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement with that monster down in the Mushroom King. I sure appreciate you bringing this Power Star, I mean as many as these as we can get. My name's Lubba, by the by. By the by, I'm the head honko of this Luma crew. Ah, see, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. 
took real elbow grease to convert it into this little planet droid into a ship, but we almost pulled it off. It may not look like much, but it's home. Are oh, you supposed to sleep? Where do you go? Truth be told, the ship's... She's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster, too. He blasted us with meteors, and some of my crew was thrown overboard. So that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. You know what else is cold? That monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceships run on energy from stars. Without that, we would be busy. we were stranded here. Ah! <laughs> oh, it, is that you, young Master Luma? Yes, it is. I don't know why I'm talking like an old man, but... Oh, I hear you. You're special. Someone got kidnapped. Uh... Sure. <laughs> but we need fuel for our ship. Now, if you think you can get some of that back for us... Yep, that's right. Because I press yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no matter what, Mario just says, Hmm. Oh, okay, let's get cracked. And the spaceship is Mario. Hey. Oh, uh, love about the crew just. Well, what do you think? Mm -hmm. A spaceship, huh? More like a face ship, huh? But well, at least you'll never lose in the parking lot, alright? Ugh. Oh, well, that guy. Oh, well, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this guy. Hey, Edgy. And we'll be called the captain. The game has been saved. Alright, so next time we're gonna get into what this ship does here. And I will see everybody next time.